all of us working on Clandon have come to be more and more astonished by how much the building teaches us about how an early 18th century country house is made, how great houses like this came to be. I often talk about the idea that if you haven't been to an 18th century building site, Clandon is as close as you can get. At the heart of the new vision for Clandon is really exploring and telling the story of that making. We're all really familiar with that idea of upstairs, downstairs. And here at Clandon, the upstairs is the downstairs. We can see it all in one look. And that's so powerful. Looking around me now, I can see the efforts of so many people. Bricklayers, blacksmiths, lime makers, lime burners, clay brick makers. John Michael Risebrack's behind me. For me, it's almost like being given a code to understand every other 18th century house I visit. So I can see what's behind the amazing silks and all those kind of hand block wallpapers and all those kind of things that divert our eyes. Our vision now is to really bring the interiors of Clandon back to life, working with the remarkable broken raw beauty that they have today. We're wanting to put a contemporary roof on Clandon so we continue to get this amazing light coming in. We want to put the windows back and restore the exterior of the building so it sits proudly and magnificently in the landscape in the way that it previously did. And then on the inside, we're wanting to bring the house back to life, but in the condition that the fire sort of left it, allowing you to explore that, bringing out walkways, allowing you to understand how the house is made and start to think about all the different people, all the different communities, all the different hands that went into to the making of this great place. It's very rare to work on a project where the skeleton of the building is so exposed. You can really see the sort of bones of the building, see how it's put together and start to understand how the different materials come together, how they interact. What we're doing right now at Clandon is a programme of work that's going to last about two and a half to three years to conserve the remarkable brick skeleton of the building. Whilst we're doing that piece of work, that allows us to really focus in on the detail of the designs and the proposals for how we bring the interior of the house to life. I feel surprised by Clandon. It's revealing more and more of its secrets all the time. For students of architecture or building or brickwork, it would be amazing to come to site and actually see the nuts and the bolts, like the skeleton of the building and, the, and how those walls have been constructed. And you can see things like where flues have partly collapsed. You can see the inside and how they were built, which is all things that you never normally see when you go to visit a stately home or an attraction. I think the significance of a historic building can change over time. Things happen within the development of a building at various points in history and that sometimes changes what is significance and how you might present that significance within the building. I really hope that in the future people can come and enjoy and, and understand the building, perhaps in ways that it wasn't possible to understand before the project. In the weeks and months after the fire, the shock was so great for us all that I think it was obvious that we would want to try and put back what we'd lost here at Clandon. And we, we really explored that, but with new research and getting to know the house as it is now, we gradually realised how special this is and how much it has to offer us, not just in terms of understanding the bricks and the mortar and the physical appearance of the house, but just the kind of awe-inspiring nature of it, its aesthetic and poetic quality, which is really moving. It wouldn't have been so special for me to come and work on this building as a fully complete building. It's such an unusual thing. It's another stage in Clandon's life and people given the opportunity to experience the building as it is now with the huge open spaces and the big dramatic bare brick walls, a building stripped down to its bare bones. We'll actually have the light, and the light from above will allow us, in a way, to look at the sculpture in new ways, to appreciate the spaces in new ways, and in a way to appreciate the layers by which this extraordinary, brilliant, amazing building by Leone was designed and made. I think that the new vision that we have for Clandon is absolutely right. 
It doesn't cover up the wonder that we see today here. It allows the house to tell us its stories, to uncover the story of its making.